Yeah, you're Alright, after like, what, 30 minutes? -ish? Way too goddamn long minutes. Yeah. I think yeah. would be the best way to put it. Alright, so oh. I expect us to see Captain Falcon 110%. RJ is most likely not going to go DK because it's really hard for him in that matchup. Is you can get edge guarded pretty hard. Like, yeah, you have a lot of advantage when Captain Falcon's in disadvantage, but you got to get there when Falcon's got a lot more frame advantage oh, yeah. and stuff. Not even just that, but quite frankly, the knee follow ups are absolutely free and true against DK. So Gabe, I could see what. Well, I think you left your $15 like winnings over there. Well, nonetheless, he's still going DK. Did you? Gotta tough it out, see what he can do. On Battlefield to start, you're in loser semis at plus 19. You're starting up with a combo grab to legs, to legs, to legs, to more legs. Oh, I'm trying to go for the hard oh, no, force no, mastery. Not, you had not quite going to get anything out of it, though. Yeah, you're good. Okay, so, yeah, fucking ahead. Also, you're going to get comboed really hard in this matchup as Falcon, or as uh, DK. The same will kind of happen to you as Falcon, but not nearly as hard. I'm trying to get it back here, but uh, apparently... Probably thinking he was going to land on the platform if I had to guess. Oh, my fucking uh, oh that's an unfortunate SD for Mercy. But for a second there instead of uh, jump up B. Yeah, clearly not happy about that. But nonetheless, he could still make this comeback. Although, quite frankly, Combo is pretty Ooh. well versed in this matchup. If yeah, I'm not I believe mistaken. the last two times they played Combo. Oh, that's going to be. Yeah, it. that's a stock! Wow, grabbing yeah. the tip of his foot, dude. Oh, you know it. That's, so, that's something, though, you. I would never count RJ out in any match no. down here. Quite hey, as frankly. long as you're not. Oh, I was about to say, as long as you're not past the point of rage, ding dong. But even then, like he's got amazing Ooh. edge guards. Not a good forward smash by Combo. Oh, oh falling oh, knee to wow. take game one. Twenty-one percent on that last time. How about that? How about that? Right now. All right. Solid start from Combo. Yep, showing that he's. If you're gonna give him the opportunity, he's gonna take it. There's nothing really better to do in that situation. There's kind of no reason. I know I know he went high because he was very scared of getting stomped by just doing, like, the typical angle. But he also could have hovered out there if he wanted to. But still, not a great spot. I'm still... I am very surprised to see DK again. Yeah, especially oh. considering all the characters RJ has. I would have expected maybe, like, a Bayonetta or something yeah. at some point. I think he's not super confident in it, and then he gets put in the situation. Oh, no. These are Bs. And this is also why... He could get need. That was really smart falling through the platform. Oh, I actually thought he was going to get need there in all honesty, oh, but he, it could have been too... It. Oh, he actually could have done it there. Would that have finished him off, you think, at 70? I think so. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure he would have died. Yeah. But then again, who freaking knows? That forward smash, not quite going to do it, but forward smash, nonetheless. I would have liked to see him wait and do short hop fastball up air. Or, or short I'll hop smash. fastball up air into knee. Oh, oh not going to take it just yet. DK is very fat. He clearly eats his meat. I think he's uh, fourth heaviest. Oh, this. Yeah, DK? Yeah. No, DK is second heaviest. He's second? Yeah. Behind Bowser? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, you're right. My bad. Yeah, the three heaviest are um, uh, Bowser, DK, DDD. And side B taking out uh, that first stock. I'm surprised to see um, the F smash. I know this was a while back, but when Combo was at like 76 and DK had a ton of rage. Uh, I thought that would have been perfect percent for Ding Dong, but I'm not a DK player, so I can't say for sure. Yeah, I can tell you if you bought back the footage, but I, I don't. We don't have it in front of us, unfortunately. Say no to GG. That's gonna, that's yeah, gonna yeah, he knew, he knew that was it. After getting really, caught, I knew that. that was even it. if up air would have made it, back air would have finished off his stock. Yeah, th yeah, those up airs are putting uh, RJ in really nasty positions. Is there because unlike Mar unlike like Mario's up here, there really isn't much you can do about it. Yeah. Just because how far those things. I really reach. don't like that tech, and it worked out though. He's gonna side. Oh, oh my oh, goodness! That was, that was so almost close. a destroyed shield. Oh, oh wow. the in the in the classic hug taking game two for combo. Honestly, that's super surprising. I wouldn't expect a player of RJ's caliber to miss those tags. Those are... Yeah. That's, it could it could have been the extra delay that we saw between him and the wall. I actually expected oh. him to hit the wall earlier, to be honest. So yeah. I could still kind of expect it. And here we're getting the Bane of the switch that I kind of expected after game one, to be perfectly honest. But I think he's he wanted to be able to do it as DK, so he wouldn't be so behind because now he's going to have to win the game as Cloud. Uh, or against Cloud if he wins this one. Yeah, that's... This could be a pretty uphill battle, but nonetheless, RJ's Bayo can still put in a lot of work. Yeah. It's RJ. <laughs> oh, being too close to the ground to be able to finish uh, the back air, because I think that moves around frame 12 or something. It might even be 15. I guess something like that. 
Wow, good run back by Combo to avoid the slide, the heel slide. I think Combo's understanding the matchup a little bit better. Understanding if he runs away, he can just wait for Bayon. Oh my God! Wow, that co that could have been an early start. That was a right really there. good read. Uh, just... I like that. Uh, even though you don't get the guaranteed punish. Oh, oh and the knee sealing out the first start. That's gonna RJ work. potentially on tournament stock right now. Matthew Combo looking like a monster at the moment. Yeah, his, his confirms are completely on point right now. He he is ready to give the business. Oh, I would have liked to have seen him go for the nair after the up B. Um, this is going to be very, very rough. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, he's way too close to the edge. But also, this can follow, change but. in a second. If oh, he, you know he, can, he can seal the stock with an easy edge guard and also wish time puts him in a great situation. Oh, I would have liked to have seen his side B there when you put him in the tech situation because everything except for roll out um, would have been covered and if you only buffer the first part of it, uh, it would have been completely safe. Yeah, he, oh. he is far enough ahead to warrant that kind of a gamble. I agree. But nonetheless, nonetheless if even if he just continues what he's doing, at this rate, this could very much be a very quick set for Matthew oh, Combo. That's gonna be but, it. Yeah, that forward smash, however, is going to take that first stock. RJ is showing he's not completely out of it yet. Very scary position. Yeah. I like RJ DIing out and not committing to an air dodge. I like holding shield there as well. Oh, I think he um did not mean to do that. Oh, oh goodness! Why wow, that he, he he was ready to just end the oh, game no. right there, and he wa he wants to destroy right, this shield. Be oh, he didn't hold the jab that long. Combo wouldn't have fallen out. Oh, combo yeah. getting a little hungry there. Good job on RJ. Recognize he need to get back quick. Oh, oh, that is wow. it! The very tip of that side B. I cannot believe that reached so high. Combo with a convincing 3-0 over RJ. Now it could just be me, but it seems like he has the number. It looks like he has the number in these in, in this particular match. No, okay, <laughs> one super gross, like oh, like RJ pixel edge. Um. Besides that, I think RJ was just too committal on a lot of his stuff, and he wasn't playing slower than Falcon, which I think is what Combo really needed to do in that matchup, and he did it well. He spaced out, right. yeah. not not on stream, not on stream. Yeah, I think I'm a. Yeah, I think uncustomarily as well. Given how super super aggressive Combo is, it was really it was really cool to see him actually back off in several of those instances, particularly against Bayonetta, and actually get those get those big punishes against Heel Slide. Because that's not it's not often I actually see Combo wait something out like that instead of just immediately going in. So that shows an evolving knowledge on these matchups. No, I agree. I think he's realizing what it takes to switch between matchups to take advantage of this. Because this is arguably one of the worst matchups in the game. It's definitely still doable. Sets between uh, Captain Zack and um, Fatality have still been close going to like game fives and such, but the tools your character is given, it's very, very hard for Falcon. Oh, indeed. Nonetheless, good stuff to combo for getting all the way to Lucius Finals.